In this video, I'll be showing you how I edit and post to IGTV. Let's go. Hey, what's up? It's Omar with Think Media, helping you with the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. This channel is all about tech gear reviews, YouTube strategy tips, and also tutorials just like this one. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So right now, IGTV is a pretty powerful tool. When IGTV first was showcased to us, it kind of didn't get that much praise because it was separate to kind of Instagram. You had to like almost either leave the app or it had nothing to do with your actual feed and or stories. Also, another thing that IGTV didn't do when it first came out was it forced you to have to post vertical videos, which, you know, the, the content creator world or people behind the camera like myself, you know, started filming sideways. And we did a lot of that just to be native to the platform, right? As time has evolved, you know, the Instagram has released updates after updates, and now you can, in fact, you can post widescreen 1920 by 1080 videos onto IGTV, and then it'll allow you the option to rotate the video so that you can watch it, you know, sideways as it's meant to be watched. The thing about that though is I actually don't recommend you upload widescreen videos onto Instagram because of a thing called screen real estate. What screen real estate is simply is how much a post can actually take up someone else's screen. So if you post long form content on Instagram, it actually takes up more screen space on the person viewing your content. So if you're posting long form video or long form photos, it's taking up more of the screen potentially buying you more attention, which we all know attention is the commodity. And so I'm gonna show you how I take a widescreen 1920 by 1080 video and make it native to be able to be posted on IGTV and take up most of the screen to maximize your effectiveness. Once you got Premiere Pro opened up, the first thing you wanna do is create sequence presets. Now, you'll only have to do this one time and once you do it, you can just use the preset over and over. So first, we're gonna go into File, New, Sequence, we're gonna go uh, into digital SLR, 1080p. Click on the 1080p 30 frames, or if you're using a 24 frame project, it doesn't matter if you're using 4K or not, but if you're using a 30 frames or 24 frames, in our case, we are using a 30 frame project. And then you don't wanna open up anything quite yet. You're gonna go into settings, and then you're gonna actually flip these two around. You're gonna, you're gonna put 1080 over here, and then you're gonna put 1920 over here. Now what you're doing is you're just telling Premiere Pro to create a sequence that is long ways. And so we're gonna hit save preset, don't hit okay. Save preset and save this for the rest of your life. You'll never have to do it again. So you can call this IGTV preset 30 frames per second. So that's the first preset. The second preset we're gonna make, we can actually reference the last one we made, but we're gonna go back into settings and change this from 1080 to 1920 to now 1080 to 1350. Why do you ask that? Because Instagram will post this resolution when you post your IGTV stories. And so we're gonna use this as a reference or a foundation to our actual vertical video. And so we're gonna hit save preset and we're gonna call this one IG post preset 30 frames per second and save that guy. So now once you have these two presets made that you'll never have to do again, you, you do want to start with the IG post one. So we're going to open up the IG post preset. So as you can see, it's a short stubby rectangle, uh, as you can see, but we're going to now import the footage that we're going to be referencing. Uh, in this case, the example is going to be um, a actual clip that my pastor sent me that we're going to post on his Instagram right after I render this out. So the first one is we're gonna do, drag this video onto Premiere Pro. And then we're gonna drag this clip into the sequence. So I'm gonna drag this clip into the sequence, like so. It's gonna prompt you if you wanna change the sequence based off of your video. I actually always usually, then that doesn't really make sense, always usually, I actually sometimes say change sequence to match the video settings, like if we're shooting 4K footage or, uh, or things like that. But because we're gonna actually ma manipulate this clip, we wanna keep it. So make sure you hit keep existing settings. So we're gonna go into here. If you click, you'll see that like this, uh, this clip obviously doesn't fill the frame because he's wide. So I'm gonna actually cut the clip to where we wanna post it on Instagram and that's 1243. 
So I'm gonna go to 1243, hit cut, and then I'm gonna head to 1612, uh, right there. Perfect, so now I'm gonna delete everything else we don't need, and then ripple delete the clip to the front. So here we have the clip that I want to post on Instagram TV. So the first thing we wanna do, and the reason why we start here is because we wanna fill the frame. So I'm gonna fill the frame and simply click the clip and scale it until he fills the actual IGTV frame or the IG post frame. So now he fills that frame. So when we post this clip onto IGTV and it shows up on the feed, it's gonna take up the full screen as maximum as possible. But this is just a reference point. So, you know, we definitely like how this looks. I'm gonna keep it as is uh, and just do it like that. And now we're gonna actually open up the last sequence preset that we just made. So I'm gonna do new item, new sequence, and do the IGTV preset. And literally, all I'm gonna do is copy the video over onto the, and as you can see, it's definitely long form. So you can see the black bars now. We just, real quick, I'm just gonna fill in those black bars by doubling the clip. So as you can see, I just drag the clip up. I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna paste the clip right underneath. And then I'm actually gonna zoom in the clip that's underneath it so it fills more of the frame. And then I'm just gonna simply add a effect to that, a blur effect. So I'm just gonna go to here. This, and this is literally any wide video you have, you can literally use to create um, IGTV video. So I'm just gonna blur that out. As you can see, it's blurred out. So this is how it'll actually look on IGTV, but this is how it'll look on your feed, which is what we want. So once we have the clip, we're gonna mark our out point, make sure our in point is marked out. I just hit O for out, I for in, and I'm gonna hit Command M, if you're using a Mac, to render this out. And then I'm gonna call it Faith Clip. And once it's ready to go, I'm gonna hit export. All right, once you have rendered out your IGTV clip, and what I love about the Mac workflow, to be honest with you, is AirDrop. So I'm just gonna simply AirDrop this uh, video to my phone, and then we can then get started. All right, once we have the clip on our phone, we are ready to post it to Instagram TV. And so we're gonna post this onto my pastor's account. So I'm gonna to go to uh, IGTV, hit the plus button, and as you can see, the video shows up, and this is it's gonna look real nice. And then, power tip here is just, you can literally have a pre-made photo, or if you have a good photo, or take a screenshot uh, at some point. I, I'm not a fan of just using a screen grab of the actual video itself. I upload an image, so I have a good high-res photo of Pastor Jabin, and so I'm gonna upload him right there, and now it looks really clean. I'm gonna go to next. The title is very important. So you wanna make sure that whatever you name it title-wise is what you want your caption to be because that's how it's gonna show up on the, uh, the feed when somebody's scrolling through Instagram. And that's actually the most powerful thing about IGTV right now is just how it works so well with your actual IG feed. Like, you know, as you can see this post to preview, I'm gonna check it because it's gonna stay in his feed and it's also gonna be posted onto the, uh, the feed as well. So I'm gonna title this Faith is I don't know, which resonates with kind of what he's saying in the clip. And so we're gonna post this now to his Instagram. And as it posts, I wanna show you how it looks on the feed. So now that it's posted, and I'm gonna refresh the feed, look how much of, his, of the screen it's actually taking up. This is the maximum you'll actually ever take up uh, with an in a single Instagram post. And now if you actually wanted to tap into the IGTV, it fills the frame and it looks really, really good. And so this is how you can take your wide videos, make them most effective on Instagram, uh, posting on IGTV, which is longer form content. This clip is actually three minutes and 33 seconds. And if you go into the feed, you can actually see that now the thumbnail looks really good uh, right there at the top left and you're good to go.
And so that's how you take a widescreen video and make it most effective on IGTV. I hope this video gave you value, and if it did, hit the like button on the video. And we also have a series on how to make YouTube videos with your iPhones, from filming the video with your phone, and then editing it, and then thumbnails, and all those things. And honestly, most of the things that we post here on Think Media or on Sean Cannell's account is just repurposed from wide videos, from YouTube content. So we'll, we'll link to that series in the YouTube card and put it in the description below. Question of the day is, do you find yourself watching IGTV videos? I know I do, but if you do, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.